Hey friends! For this week's studio chat, I wanted to give you an update on the painting that I had shared last week, the painting of the fox. And um, if you have watched last week's chat, you will remember that I was not super happy with how the flowers were looking. They were very um, stylized and kind of more pattern inspired than I wanted them to be. And I got a lot of really kind comments, thank you, that you like the painting. And um, I feel like I, it, this is a good um, time to just kind of say a painting can be good and um, still not fit like your vision for what you want for the painting. And um, I've experienced this, I think most artists have experienced this, where you have a vision for a piece you're working on and then um, you're thinking, oh, this is not working, this is not what I'm hoping for, I wanna keep pushing. And then you get a lot of like positive feedback where people say, no, don't do anything to it, it's great. And then that can create a lot of like indecision in an artist's mind. And um, I have basically just learned to tune out what people are saying and um, keep working towards my vision because I'm always happier in the end because I know that I like pushed through and got to a place that was personally really satisfying for me. Um, so I wanted to show you what I did and kind of how I was working through that idea. So um, you'll have to watch last week's video to see what that painting looked like because I painted over it. I painted over all the flowers and left the fox. So I wanted to show you, I have the painting here. So I replaced all of the flowers um, with much more realistic looking flowers. I went for, um, what are these? These are <laughs> like vine wild roses. Um, and I really had a lot of fun painting them. I felt like there was more of a tie between the realism of the fox and the realism of the flowers. And that was more kind of what I was hoping for in the painting was to get something that had more texture, more depth, was not as flat and stylized feeling. So I painted this and then this was kind of like the next step that I thought after I painted this painting is I really want more room to have more things. I, I have one of my paintings hanging in my living room, um, a painting of a bouquet of flowers, and it's a larger painting, it's 24 by 30. And I just look at it every day and I love the room that I had to stretch out and to paint flowers with lots of layers and lots of colors and just be more loose, but still have a, a certain amount of detail in them that is hard for me to achieve with something small. And I was just kind of getting like, um, I don't know if nostalgic is, <laughs> nostalgic is not the right word, but like wishing that I could paint on something larger. So I said, okay, I'm gonna take this fox idea and I'm gonna move it over to a larger canvas and I'm gonna reinterpret the idea with what I learned from this paper painting and then um, push it and see how how it develops and how it goes further. So I wanna show you the bigger painting and show you where I'm at. It's very much in the beginning stages um, and how that is going so far. Well, here is my desk mess. <laughs> I love seeing artist palettes, so I'm gonna share mine with you. This is the aftermath of this week's paintings. And here is the Fox canvas. So, you can see it's on a, it's a lot larger than that piece of paper. This is a 18 by 24 canvas. And I decided to try a new fox pose and also just fit a ton of flowers in there, a different varieties. So these ones are based on magnolias. These are passion fruit flowers. And then these ones are, who knows what those are, some sort of peony or something. But I decided to just go to town and try not to overthink it. I think I was thinking really hard about the other painting. And this is in the very beginning stages, so I'm about to start layering more color and texture on top of it. So like these really crisp areas of solid color will get more hazy layers over them and it'll kind of join, at least my hope is that it'll join all of those areas together and make it a more unified um, painting. And then I will go back in and add more details and more layers. 
So yeah, that's where I am right now. And um, I'm excited for it. I feel like I'm feeling re-energized and um, hopefully this will turn into something even more beautiful than it is right now. The other thing that I am hoping for with this painting is not to make the fox too cute. I kind of want to keep the wild, more mystical, magical, elegant, I don't know what the right word is, atmospheric sort of feeling, like the wildness, and not make it too cutesy. I feel like woodland art can get very cute because often it's for children um, and decor for children's spaces, but I want to make something that feels a little bit more wild um, yeah, an atmospheric. So we shall see. We shall see how it develops. That's it for this week's studio chat. Um, thank you for hanging out with me and for seeing what I'm working on. And um, I hope that that was helpful to just see sort of the stages that a creative idea can go through. And we will see next week where this painting has gone. And if I've started something new, um, it will be interesting no matter what happens. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.